All right, Shalom. I'm going to start off by giving all praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rechach, Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, the GMS who rule well. And also honor and salutations to those of you who are up to hope for the elect and are out there teaching the word of sincerity and truth. All right, so um, today I wanted to uh, touch on um, or, or maybe maybe expound on um, uh, sh uh, the show that the uh, Elder Adama had put up uh, in regards to uh, uh, going off the grid. And, uh, and then this this is not so much about uh, going off the grid, but uh, that's where that's where I got um, the thoughts from. And uh, as I was watching the show, I was jotting down a couple of scriptures. But um, you know, you know, since since I you know been writing down these scriptures, uh, are not scriptures, but um, just thoughts. Yeah, scriptures too. I wrote down some scriptures too. But ever since then, I, um, it's been you know. Well, I always do this anyway. Is uh, look around and uh, just watch people while I'm you know while I'm out and about. And uh, me and my me and my my wife was in the grocery store the other day, and I saw this 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 group of girls. And of course, you know you you know your your head, you know jolts jolts to them. You know, they, especially if they look looking like like something. And um, they were walking, and they just had this uh <laughs> this air about them, right? Where it's just like. They could do no wrong. Um, everybody was looking at them like, you know, not, not I'm not saying everybody was looking at them, but they had the persona as though everybody was looking at them and that they had some some sort of uh, a celebrity. And I, was, I watched them for a second, man, and uh, I said, man, these these, these uh, women are going to be in for a, a rude awakening, boy. They're going to be in for a rude awakening. And though though you won't be able to go off the grid um, to avoid turmoil and trouble, um, there will be a, a, a time where where the, the comforts of the world are, 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 are far and few between, right? Because right now we can we can go to the grocery store when we want. Uh, we can we can turn the stove on and cook a little meal if we want. Um, <laughs> you know, just you, you know, you can go to if, as a as a young lady, you can go to the your hairdresser and get your hair done. You might be able to go get your nails done. You might be able to, um, you know, uh, go to the beach and put your little bikini on and show your body a little bit, right? But those those comforts are are going to be, I said far and few between, but they're not going to be here at all. And um, I always, matter of fact, um, let me do this. Bear with me for a second here. Yep. Psalms 110 and 3. It says, Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. And the beauties of holiness from the womb of the morning. So, okay. Thou hast the dew of thy youth. Right? So the point is here that the, the people shall be willing in the day of thy power. And and much more uh, the women, man. And I and I always I like like when you when you go to let's let's go here real quick. And I I, I, I don't particularly care to do shows like this, but I'm about to type particularly <laughs> Isaiah uh, 4 and 1. Um, this is Isaiah 4 and 1. It says, And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. Right? Like, always, I always have thought to myself, What is going to bring on that level of desperation right what is gonna like because because like right right now right as it stands um women women do their damnedest uh, <laughs> um, 
for those of you who you know have women around you understand what I'm about to say to make sure that you ain't dealing with no other women right <laughs> and they, and it's like this their their whole energy is about about it you know what I mean their their whole day is consumed by wondering whether or not you're dealing with another uh, another woman right so how is it gonna go from what it is now right where they Oh, I should be the only one in blase blase uh, to, I don't care who you got. No, you ain't, you ain't even got to give me no food. I just want to be protected by you. I just want to be around you and in your presence, right? Matter of fact, let me go to this one first. I mean, go to this one as well. Um, uh, oops. I'm spelling that right. Isaiah 13 and 12. I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man the golden wedge of Ophir. Right. So what what, what is gonna what is gonna be the thing that changes that that mindset? Right. To say like, damn, he he's the valuable one. He's the catch. Right. And it's it's gonna be that time of Jacob's trouble, man. When when when. It's all chaotic in the streets, right? First, first is going to be, there's this going to be, um, um, this, this, uh, <laughs> this lack of, um, I, I don't know how to say this, um, where they, where they're uh, unwilling to relinquish, um, their position that they have here in the world, right? So in the beginning, when all hell starts breaking loose, they're going to have that pride and, walking with their chest poked out like you know you can't do nothing to me i'm a woman right and they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna start seeing uh, young ladies getting raped right they're gonna start seeing um young ladies being being uh beat up right they're, they're gonna start seeing all these things and they're gonna say, oh shit this <laughs> these niggas ain't playing no more out here right and I'm not saying just uh, niggas as far as like Jake, but I'm saying men in general um, are are going to get back to understanding their their natural state when it when it comes to uh, when it comes to women, right? And they're they're gonna they're gonna carry that with them, that, especially in the time of trouble, because uh, 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 in that time a man is not gonna have. Um, the patience to to try to move about through the through the turmoil right and deal with her mouth right just just for instance right you know i, I always I, of course this is you know extrapolation um but um when you read the story of job right matter of fact let me go to that instead of just talking about it I want to make this point really quick. All right, so I'm I'm gonna start. It's going to start at 23, right? I just want to make this point really quick. This is uh, Genesis 19 and 23. It says, The sun was risen upon the earth when Lot entered into Zoar. Then the Lord rained upon Sodom and, Gomor and upon Gomorrah brimstone and fire from the Lord out of heaven. And he overthrew those cities and all the uh, and, and all the plain and all the inhabitants of the cities and that which grew upon the ground. But his wife looked back from behind him and she became a pillar of salt, right? So as you know, as the story goes, these these the angels came to warn Lot and to get out of the city, right? And uh, you know, once you get that news, you like, I'm out of here. You know, you pack, you pack me. You might pack a little bag real quick, put your clothes on, uh, tell you tell your family, all right, let's go, let's go. We gotta move, we gotta move. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So you know, the whole time. His wife, well, again, I'm, I'm, I'm extrapolating. I don't want to, I don't want to uh, 
skew what the scriptures are saying. Um, but, you know, I always think of it like this, like his wife was like, what, what happened? What, what's going on? Where, where, where are we going? <laughs> and, they, and he's, you know, trying to drag her, drag her. He got the girls. He's trying to drag her. Come on, come on now, come on. And he said, look, don't turn and look. Just keep moving, just keep moving. And sure enough, she, that curiosity that she had, uh, she turned around and looked. And, and and lo and behold, she turned into this this pillar of salt, man. And I, I always say, like, in that time, like, I say that to say, in those troubling times, a man doesn't have time to, like, 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 deal with you in your thought, in, in your, in your doubt. And, and like, you're like, look, man, we, 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 we got to, we got to do this. You worried about this, this, and this, and now we, I'm here, I am trying to. <laughs> Put this together and we we trying to get moving, right? And that and that's that's gonna be that same spirit uh when when this time comes, man. Men are gonna be fed up with dealing with life and you. And in times of of, of immense trouble, man, men ain't gonna have no we we ain't gonna have no time to be worried about what you think and how you what you think we should do, you know. And all of that pride is going to be wiped away. And that's what's going to be the, the, the humbling factor. When you can't protect yourself, when you can't, when you're, when you're, when your beauty um, is not as uh, 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 pertinent as it is today, right? When you can't, when you can't just go out there and be protected by the police or some, some uh, Captain saber -ho. You gonna have to really deal with life, and that's where that humility is gonna come from. To have Isaiah four and one come about, order order will be restored. <laughs> if 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 you if if you uh, know what I mean, right? So I, I got a couple of scriptures here that I want to go through really quick, and then um I'll get out of here. This is uh Isaiah thirty two and eleven. It says, uh, "Tremble ye women." that are at ease, <clears throat> uh, be troubled, ye careless ones, uh, strip you and make you bare and gird sackcloth, sackcloth upon your loins. Uh, they, they shall lament for the teats, for the unpleasant fields, for the uh, fruitful vine, right? So these women, if you see them today, they're at ease, man. They don't have no worries. They could tell a man to shut the fuck up. I don't need you. Bounce, nigga. They could, they could, you know, they could, they could say these kinds of things and not have to worry because if the man is not in the house, then they they're still gonna be taken care of, right? But what happens when that 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 welfare get cut off? And this coming, man. That's it's right around the corner. What happens when uh, the police force is uh, um, is 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 uh, not as strong as it once was because you got to think about this man. These people that are police officers, yeah, they got a badge and they got a gun, and then there's a little bit of pride in them, right? But <laughs> when all hell is breaking loose, you're gonna see a lot of people quitting the police force, man, because they're gonna be scared. I ain't going out there. What you what you need me for? Go no no no. Go get the military. These police officers are going to be scared, and the police officers are going to be. Uh, no, I'm sorry, not the police officers, but the military. They're going to be more concerned about getting people into concentration camps and um, settling the the civil unrest. Um, and they ain't going to be worried about uh, the woman and, and somebody done. She done. She done ran her mouth, and then somebody done came across the top side of her head. Right when you when you see these movies like that, right where there's where there's anarchy in the streets, right? The the, the woman is the least of of, of the people's concern. You, all right, what's what's in my mind right now is the uh, what's that movie there? Sons of Men, I think it is. Right, you know you see that movie, or, and then you see uh, <laughs> a movie like uh, what's what's my movie here? That's my the elder. Adama's favorite movie here, um, Book of Eli. Women, women were second class citizens, man. 
when 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 all things get boiled right boiled off right and there's no more uh, women executives and, and and women doctors and nurses and and all of it gets boiled down to just you're a woman and we are men right order gets restored man that's what these flicks show you right so let me let me continue on uh, I got uh, this one right here. This is uh, Micah 7 and 10. It says, Then she that is mine enemy shall see it, and shame shall cover her, which said unto me, Where is the Lord thy power? Mine eyes shall behold her. Now she shall be trodden down as the mire in the streets. That's what's going to happen, man. That, that is going to happen. And it's going to be a, a wake up call for you, for you women, man. It's going to be a wake up call when you, when you're in, uh, in distress in that way. Okay. So, um, matter of fact, let me go. Let me, yeah, I'll, I'll go. Which one do I want to go to first though? I'll go here. Um, uh, I'll start at 16. This is uh, Isaiah thir uh, 3 and 16. It says, Moreover, the Lord saith, because the daughters of Zion are haughty, right? And walk with stretched forth necks and wanton eyes, walking and mincing as they go, and making a tinkling with their feet. Therefore, the Lord will smite with a scab the crown of the head of the daughters of Zion, and the Lord will discover their secret parts. Now, this is speaking to... Of course, uh, in ancient times when, when these things happen, but these things are going to happen again, right? For the same reason. Matter of fact, let's look up this word haughty. See what see what we get. Uh, goodbye. Uh, to be high, be exalted. To be high, lofty, tall. To be exalted, right? To be lofty again, right? So that's what haughty is, right? Above, high, right? Higher, right? And and, and women and women carry that air about them, man. Let's see what this uh, what Google says about it. Uh, arrogantly superior and disdainful. You ever try to you ever try to talk to a, a woman and they and they just snarl at you? Like, like, like you, you're like you're beneath them, <laughs> and it, it's it's funny, man. It, and it, like, look, they don't realize that all of these years of of this snarl, right, of you uh, looking at looking at men like they're worthless, right? You what you what you did all these years was push men away. So now when that time comes and you you asking and begging to be be taken in. <laughs> You you gonna get turned away, man, because of your your arrogancy. All right. So this let me let me go back here. Um. Yeah, let me go back to the scripture. All right. Going back to read seventeen again. It says, "Therefore the Lord." Um. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think I said uh, I wanted to look up one too. Uh, as I was reading that there, let's look up one, which is, which is, my memory search can correct these, like a lack of discipline, wanton eyes, uh, yeah, to ogle, right, be wanton, ogling, right, ogling, let's look that up real quick, <laughs> to stare at, in a, Lecherous manner. I don't even know what that. I hate when you gotta look up another word. I just want to understand it, so I'm just gonna go ahead and look it up real quick. Lecherous, having or showing excessive or offensive sexual desire, right? <laughs> and then, boy, let me tell you, boy, these women they get the looking, boy. Don't don't think that you, <clears throat> you know, Jake think they the man, man. When they <laughs> when they be out there with these pretty girls, man, they, these pretty girls, t trust me, looking for the next nigga. Trust me. All right, 
Let me go back here. Right. Oh, where was I? At? Yeah. Right. So want want and eyes. Right. Just meaning that they don't have the discipline to keep their eyes uh, to themselves. Uh, that, that's a weird way to say that, but you know, without, without you know looking around at the next nigga, you know. Uh, walking and mincing as they go and making it tinkling with their feet. Therefore, the Lord will smite with a scab the crown of the head of the daughters of Zion, and the Lord will discover their secret parts. And the day that the Lord will take away the bravery of their tinkling ornaments about their feet and their calls and their round tires like the moon. Right. So uh, I think a call is like a like a headband. Um. Let me, let me see. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, like you know, them front front bands that be having jewels and diamonds in it, right? So, and so in other words, all this, you know, all this, these necklaces and pretty hair ornaments, right? The scripture says here, the chains and the bracelets of the mufflers and the mufflers, excuse me, the bonnets and the ornaments of the legs. And the headbands and the tablets and the earrings, the rings and the nose jewels, the changeable suits of apparel and the mantles and the and the wimples and the crisping pins, uh, the glasses and the fine linen and the hoods and the veils. And it shall come to pass that instead of sweet smell, there shall be stink. <laughs> and instead of a girdle, a rent. And instead of a well set hair, baldness. And instead of a, st uh, a stomacher, a, a girding of sackcloth and burning instead of beauty, right? The, thy men shall fall by the sword and thy mighty in war and her gates shall lament and mourn and she being desolate shall sit upon the ground. That's what's going to bring upon that humility, man. When you can't go out there and get your, your weave tightened up. When you can't go out there, get your nails done, and, and get your your feet done, and you know get you know go to what's this what's this one that they do now? Uh, not Forever Twenty One, uh, Fashion Over. Fashion Over, they ain't gonna be having any little Fashion Over outfits on. <laughs> y'all y'all gonna be in bad case, boy. Some of you some of you some of you women without them um without that makeup and them eyelashes, y'all look real real crazy. And when you can't get them eyelashes tightened up, boy, y'all, y'all, then that's going to be, uh, the, the, uh, humili humiliating factor that's going to, that's going to snap things back into order, All right? So that's all I had, man. I just wanted to go through those things. I was going to go to, uh, Sirach 25, but, um, I think I made the point, um, hopefully it was edifying. I want to, again... As always, uh, I'm going to end it off by giving all praises to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rachah, Double honors to the apostles and elders. Salutations to the elect. And with that, I say Shalom.